All right, if you've been with me in the past, you've seen little samples that I've done about a slime moving around a screen. Here's my Ursina version. My Godot version is different enough, but not entirely different. It involves the same exact slime. This one kind of moves more smoothly. You know, I was doing these for different reasons. Now, the way I make the slime move around the screen has to do with the buttons I'm pressing on the keyboard, though it doesn't necessarily have to be buttons. It could have been uh, a game controller or mouse controls. So Ursina handles user input one way, and Godot handles it a little bit different. Up to you to decide what you like better. I like Godot better, but uh, you know maybe you decide you like Ursina better. So in order to illustrate this, I just want to create a new function that I'm going to call say hi. So def say hi. And all it's going to do is print hi. So if I run this, it's not going to do anything because nothing's actually calling this say hi function. However, if I introduce another thing in my uh, previously defined input, if key is equal to, uh, let's go with the letter H for hi then we can say hi. And let's see what happens when we run this. There's my slime, I can still move them around. And if I press H, you can actually see down over here, it jumped up and said hi. I'll do it again, and again, and again, and again, and again. So you can see that something's happening, something's reacting when I'm pressing the H button on my keyboard. So in Ursina, we specifically say if the key is this thing, then do this other thing. And that can happen in the input. Um, it can also happen in the update for held keys. But we kind of very explicitly say, if it, this key is being pressed, then this is the thing that we want to happen. In Godot, it's still the same idea. However, we can create our own functions uh, handling the UI, the user input. So the first thing I actually want to do is go up to my project in project settings and we have input map and you don't see anything I don't know why that's the default or at least it has been for me in recent history click on this we have showed built-in actions there's tons of stuff except select cancel left right up and down including joypad joypad axis so these are some very important things for making your games that are just automatically there for you and any one of these inputs from the user will do the quote-unquote UI down within Godot. Now let's say I want to add my own things, like add new action, and I want to call it say hi. I'll do it like I had it there. So we're going to add say hi. So let's get rid of the built-in action so I can only see mine. It'll make it easier to find. And then what will make it say hi? Listening for input. So now the H button does that. So now say hi as a user input has this, if you press H, this is what the input will be read as. Now within the program, I actually need to do like what I have down here. So let's do a nice simple if input dot is action just pressed. Oh, I was wondering why it wasn't filling in. I put if in poo. My son would think that was hilarious. Is action just pressed? Say hi. I used a capital I and if. No wonder I'm not getting a lot of autofills. There we go. If input action is just pressed. Okay, good. So what we want to do is print. And we're going to have the same sort of deal here. So if I run this, again, I can move my slime around the screen just like before. And if I press H, there it is. It says hi down here. H, H, H. And this is really useful for you have a game involving a gun. You want to shoot the gun. Um, something for running. You know, a button that you can hold that it makes you run at a faster speed, whatever it happens to be. Uh, so growing up on Arsena, growing up, listen to me, <laughs> learning first on Ursina and saying if key is equal to this versus the Godot method of going into your project manager, your project settings, and adjusting things on the input map. It's a pretty different process. 
the result is the same. And it's up to you which one you like better. I happen to like this a little bit better. Uh, I think it's uh, it's easier to make things happen, and it's easier to make changes, global changes, and you know if you want to make it so that either the button on the keypad works or the game controller or anything else, um, I find it easiest to change here. But you are allowed to make your own decisions. Anyway, that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed. Please don't forget to like and especially subscribe. I could really use some more subscribers so that maybe I can start uh, getting monetized for these videos I'm making. Take it easy. See you next time.